Hey Minecraft, Callum here, and welcome back to another episode on the Future Craft Survival server. It is episode 2, and today we're starting things off near 00, zero where uh, another member on the Future Craft server, Pigonato, has made a nice little path to the new slime farm that we're going to be building. So as a Fyro Redstone Engineer, Pigonato and I were probably going to be digging out the chunk, but uh, unfortunately Zafiro and Redstone Engineer, they can't join us right now. And I also would like to apologize for the <laughs> atrocious sound quality of the last episode. I had just gotten a new mic and I had set the I had set all the mic settings completely wrong, so the video sounded like it had the audio quality of a spoon. I'm very sorry about that. But uh, hopefully this video will be a little better. I'm still playing around with the mic settings, but hopefully it'll be a lot nicer. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna head over to the slime farm and I'll show you what we've got so far. So, here we are at the slime farm, it's a bit of a, it's just a big hole in the floor right now, it's uh, actually just a chunk in the middle with three blocks uh, to the side of it removed, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go and dig right down to the bottom, and uh, since uh, the replay mod isn't available on 1.15 just yet, I unfortunately won't be able to do a time lapse of me doing this, so I'll just have to um, give you little clips of uh, me digging out the entire hole. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to set my spawn point right here, and then I'm going to get to digging. Hopefully Pigonato will be able to join us soon, because uh, I really don't like the idea of digging this all out by hand by myself. Usually I have tons of TNT duplicators and flying machines going around as I do this. Ah, but since we're just starting out, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. And since I'm feeling a bit nostalgic today, I've put on the programmer art, uh, I've put on the programmer art resource pack today, and I've also put uh, the legacy vanilla tweaks on just for this episode. So a few people have been asking me, Callan, this new uh, series, Futurecraft, it sounds great, but will it affect your normal redstone tutorial uploads? Uh, I've given some thought about this, and I've thought about putting together an upload schedule, but uh, since most things in my life don't go to plan, uh, I'm not really going to have an upload schedule available, so basically uh, you're just going to get uploads when, uh, well, when the time is right. So currently I'm kind of preoccupied on the Futurecraft uploads since this is a brand new server, hasn't, it's only been up for a day, and I'm enjoying myself on it. Uh, tomorrow, perhaps, I might come up with a new thing for a redstone tutorial, but uh, until then, I'm just gonna be messing around on the server, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a video out on a redstone tutorial soon. Since digging a per since digging a single chunk out is hard work on your own, I've decided to go meet up with Pigonato at uh, zero zero to take a look at their little house that they're gonna be building. Ooh, this is very nice. Very nice, makes use of... Uh, I'm no builder so I can't criticize this, but this looks really good. This looks fantastic. Well, perhaps we'll come back later and see how their, see how their little base will be coming on. So since it looked like Pigonato was having a bit of trouble with the roof, I've uh, volunteered myself to go ahead and help them out. It's uh, <laughs> definitely a bit difficult, I can uh, see why, they're, why they wanted a bit of help. And a wandering trade. Let's take a look at his trades. <laughs> Nautilus shell, no. This sucks. We have no emeralds. We can't trade with this guy. He's got one of the best trades. This sucks. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with the roof for the time being. So it looks like uh, another Future Craft member has gone ahead and joined. We have Baby Blaze coming in. So uh, we're just building up the roof of uh, Pigonasso's house. And uh, hopefully we'll see a little bit of Baby Blaze later on in this episode. So, the house is definitely coming along. The roof is looking extraordinary. I'm actually pretty happy I've been able to help out with this. Just gotta kill this guy first. Don't want him tearing down this beautiful house. It's looking really nice. I'm actually glad I'm able to help, because uh, I'm not really helpful with anything. Alright, let's just add that. Uh, so, I'll get back to you uh, when we're done with Pigonato's house. So, Pigonato and I were discussing some lighting for their house. He's- ooh, this is really pretty. They're insanely good at building. So, he, they've gone ahead and put some walls up. Uh, a birch? Ah, this thing's looking really nice. I'm no builder, but this is 
looking really nice. I could never build something as nice as this. I uh, better go ahead and hand them the, the lanterns for the lighting. So currently, I'm just uh, beautifying the path to the different places, the slime farm, to Zero Zero, and to Pico Nato's house, and uh, seeing a, a lot more of uh, Blaze over here. Getting things settled, wanting to know where he should build his house. I uh, said it's completely up to him. Uh, he said he doesn't know where there is space. I uh, suggested that he should probably clear some space out since this is just a birch forest. Where <laughs> where will there be space to build a house? Uh, but anyways, uh, if he is going to build his house, I uh, probably might help him out. Piganotto has made uh, <laughs> lots of uh, progress on their house. It's looking really nice. I can't say it enough. I'm just no builder, so, uh, <laughs> so I just uh, feel like uh, I can't... <laughs> I just feel like I should say this since I would never be able to do a nice lovely build like this. So uh, I've also offered uh, to... I've also offered myself up to uh, help Blaze get his house uh, uh, established, get himself established uh, in the server, have a nice little place to live, and uh, so a part of that is just simply clearing out all these uh, trees and stuff so you'll have some space to build. His house is uh, looking promising. I uh, hope it'll look really good because so far the server is just progressing really quickly and maybe in a bit I'll uh, head back to the slime farm to get some stuff done with that. So I've gone ahead and started helping uh, Blaze out with his house. It's a pretty standard one, 3x3, three three, but uh, I think with a little bit of help it could look really nice in the end, so I'm just adding a bit of that pitch through action we saw in Pigonato's house. <laughs> oh wow, he's, <laughs> they're really going all out with the house, it looks very nice. Kind of makes me want to go upgrade my one, <laughs> it's not, mine's not looking as good as the other two. So we're progressing quickly with the exterior of Blaze's house. Uh, he put a boat inside his house, I'm not too sure why. Uh, so what I'm doing right now, I'm just uh, adding the the roof and stuff. Still got a few bits and pieces to put here and there. Uh, but hopefully this thing will start looking complete very soon. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna get some slabs and just mass craft them. Uh, add a few here. Maybe one here. Another one here. Get rid of this one. And just continue with the style of the, the houses around here. It's looking really nice. I've also added some knuckles to the little sides of, of this thing. Oh, he's at half a heart. I better give him some food in a bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some greenery since this, this quaint little house looks like it could use a bit of that. I'm going to put maybe a bit here. Maybe uh, some like overgrowing stuff right there. Maybe add a few uh, going across the back of his house. And maybe one or two around here. Yeah, that's looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and smelt the glass and I'll get back to you in a bit. So I've gone ahead and smelted some glass for Blaze. We're finishing up the exterior of his house. It's looking really nice. We got the pitch roof set in. He says it's a little bulky though, so I'll probably uh, redesign it a bit. Uh, just add the windows in. It's uh, looking real nice. We've got some vegetation on the front. And I replaced the dark oak uh, trapdoors with oak trapdoors since uh, Blaze said it uh, looked a bit dark. So I'm just gonna redesign the roof for him a bit and I'll be back with you in a bit. So it's now the next day on the server and in real life uh, because I had to go to bed. Uh, it was getting pretty late and I was feeling pretty tired. But anyways, here we are back in the server. Redstone Engineer just released a video of, uh, just released a video on the Futurecraft server. I have just watched it. It's pretty good. You should definitely go watch it. Uh, the links to that will be in the description. And I can see that people are getting kitted out with some diamond armor and it's kind of making me jealous because I want to get some armor and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go head over to the slime farm with the fire and I'm going to go ahead and check to see what the progress on that is. So as I head over to the slime farm, I can see that some farms are uh, getting started. This definitely did not work. Um, 
Uh, ah, and there's a redstone engineer's house. Uh, this is a house that he showed in his video. I'm looking through stuff. Uh, don't take this as theft, redstone engineer. <laughs> don't, because I'm not going to steal anything. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to head over to the slime farm. Uh, i got to be quick because I, I'm not going to be able to be on the server for long since I'm, uh, since I'm kind of on a time limit right here. And oh my god, have they gone insane. They have dug out a huge section of the entire thing. This is insane, wow. So maybe I should head down there and uh, help a bit. So uh, I'll be back with you in a bit. So since I'm feeling kind of left out, uh, because everyone else uh, apart from me has cool diamond tools and whatnot, I am still stuck on the iron, I'm gonna go ahead down into a strip mine and I'm probably gonna strip mine in a different direction to these other two holes, so I'm just gonna dig one in this direction. It's gonna be a bit hard to break the first block since I'm in water and I'm about to drown, gotta be quick. All right. Apparently someone's already dug a hole here, so I'm just going to continue along this way, and hopefully I'll be able to find some diamonds. <laughs> so it seems I've stumbled upon my first bit of redstone on the Futurecraft server. It's quite a nice vein, and it doesn't look like there's much, but... Well, at least it's redstone. I'm usually used to having a lot more, but we just got 17 out of that, so I'll be able to make a few things on the server. Maybe offer my services to the other players. That's weird. That's some weird cobblestone. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and continue strip mining in a single, in a single direction. I thought I saw some diamonds while I was strip mining over this lava pool. Uh, just found my first vein of iron. Oh, diamonds! Oh dear! I can't let it get into the lava. This is really annoying. I'll just try and mine this one. Okay. Phew. All right. Let's see. Can I continue this? Two, three. Oh God. Four. Five. Nice. I got myself five diamonds. Well, I found a few diamonds. I'll get back to you in a bit after I found a few more. So, that was a fairly successful mining trip. I managed to find two stacks and 53 redstone dust, and I even got five diamonds. Very nice. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go home and uh, deposit all of these and also get some food because I'm running out really quickly. I was currently eating carrots. Uh, from my usual cooked chicken, but uh, there was no more cooked chicken, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go home and pick up some food. And after that, I'm gonna help Zafiro dig out this entire thing. Maybe I'll make a diamond pickaxe with my newfound diamonds. So, since I was feeling a bit left out, everybody else has a lot nicer houses than myself, I've uh, decided to move out of this old house. I've decided that I guess Zafiro will just be living in this one for now, unless he decides to get out of that house and go make a new one but here is my new house it is looking pretty nice I've taken elements from all the houses and I've slapped them together into a <laughs> an amalgamation of all of it I've added some different uh, textures here and the last thing I need to do is just add a bed so I think I'll add it right here uh, but now that this is done I think I'm just gonna go head over to the slime farm and I'm gonna go help out Zafira with digging the perimeter so here we are at the slime chunk. Wow, uh, Zafiro has made quick work of it. He's got a new, he's got a new <laughs> diamond pick, and apparently it has silk touch too. I've uh, made myself a sword and a pickaxe, and I intend to keep these for the duration of uh, uh, future craft. I've named my sword the Bane of Tea, and I've named my pickaxe the Caffeine Pick, simply because I do love a bit of tea and coffee. I mean, I'm from Scotland, not England, so technically I not one of the crazy tea lovers but I do love me I do love myself a bit of tea and some coffee but what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now I'm just gonna go mine out all this redstone and then I'm gonna mine the, out the rest of the slime chunk so I'll be back with you in a bit and it seems that Zafiro has decided to join us to come help us out and he accidentally hit me so I've been digging for about 30 minutes now uh, I'm getting somewhere definitely we're uh, at Y9 now so we've mined through about two more levels, and uh, right now I'm just mining this by myself because uh, Zephyro has gone gone away to go make some new pickaxes. So what I'm just doing right now, I'm just mining out this entire thing by myself for now. I'm making quick work of it, and I'm getting lots of stuff from it. Got some redstone dust and some coal and gold and stuff like that. So after this is done, I'll probably head home 
and go smell this stuff. So currently I've just head I'm just heading back home to go deposit all this junk I found. Got a lot of valuable stuff so far. Uh, I'm gonna put all my valuables in here for now. Uh, but the most of it I'm just gonna put chuck in a box here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually I got two birch signs. Uh, I think I'll uh, put some signs here, so to Pigo Nuttos house. And I'll put one that says to my house. To um should I use my real name or I'll just put Mulfo K's house. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm probably just gonna head back to the slime farm and continue digging with Sapphire. So since I felt like the server needed a bit more uh enchantment books, etc. like that, I've uh, made a AFK fish farm. A uh, simple design from DocM77, another big Minecraft YouTuber. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of that different texture type of thing that was uh, in my house. So maybe I'll knock out a few of these. Add some andesite, maybe some of that. And uh, Zephyro says that the slime uh, perimeter is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and check that out in a bit. He's done a lot of work on it, and I uh, can't wait to take a look at it. So let's just add some of that, and maybe add a block right at the back. So I guess all that there is left now to do is a roof. Uh, I'm not really going to show too much of that on camera. I'm just going to go ahead and get back home real quick. Uh, make some slabs, and that should suffice, uh, but I'll get back to you at the slime farm. So here we are in my redstone testing world. I had just logged off the server to go to bed, and then the next day uh, we didn't have any Wi-Fi, simply because of uh, some problem with a telephone company. Uh, but in the meantime, I decided to head on to the redstone testing world to try out some designs. So I was thinking about uh, how will, if we have a community mine, what would the stairwell look like? And the nether hub, I was thinking about what design could that be? So, I went ahead and designed this little thing uh, for a nether hub. It uh, uses blue terracotta for walls, it's got nice oak plank floors, you can put your boat in here and you can jump to make it work if you're in survival. So let me go into survival actually. If you spam the spacebar, you can go pretty fast. Of course, since we want the best, uh, we're going to replace this compressed ice path with, uh, actually, we're going to replace it with blue ice and perhaps the one at the top. Uh, so, but the one at the top is only for decoration. Uh, but anyway, I also was testing the stairwell. So it's uh, my design for the community mine shaft. <laughs> it's got ores in it, so just I put a si I'll put a sign in the front of it saying don't mind the ores in it since uh, it's actually for decoration. And these rabbits keep appearing. I don't know why they keep appearing. So basically what's going to happen is uh, the further down you go, the more the ores will show up. So basically you'll have uh, an ore for its Y level. So you'll have the coal at its Y level, the iron at its Y level, the gold, redstone at its Y level, lapis at its uh, at their one, and we're going to have the diamond and the emerald one at uh, their one as well. So it's just going to be like a like a little indicator for what level you are at. So perhaps we could have some branching paths for the different ores. I had also been testing my uh, shaky sand farm design. Uh, I shoot, uh, showed in, in uh, another video. Uh, if you want to um, look at that, there will be a little thing on the top right hand corner. And uh, also testing out uh, the different uh, clocks. Uh, which one's the fastest? So. Right now, this looks like uh, to be the fastest. This one's one of the slowest, and this one I'm not finished with yet. That's for vertical, and I was also testing out the horizontal one over here. Uh, more on that in a later video, though. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna hop on back to the server, and we're probably gonna build one of these, or we're just gonna head to the slime farm like I said I would. Unfortunately, I think that's all I have time for today. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button, and if you really loved it, do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out and me personally. And that's all for me for now, and I'll see you next time.